hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is jay if you are a new subscriber well you're welcome please don't forget to subscribe joining you're welcome please subscribe and turn on your notification button so you can see whenever i have a new video uploaded and if you are a returning subscriber or someone has shared this video with you then you're very you're very lucky and blessed that person will be so it's helps um returning subscribers thank you so much for your support to see you guys because i'm going to be from the title of my video i'm going to be giving 10 christian hacks yes i think to have hack now this habit can also help you change your life as a Christian. So the first um, hack is try to read and study your Bible, the Word, every day. Try to read your Bible. Like let it be like drinking water. Don't be lacking. You know, don't be thirsty. And the word for that. It also helps you to keep your eye on Jesus. It blinds you from the things of the world. It blinds you from the world. The aspect that you know, it keeps you away from worldly things. It makes you know so you don't see you know all these worldly things as, as anything. And you know what? It's the best feeling ever. You'll be relaxed. Depression will not go through near you for that kind of thing. You know. It's all these small small things I used to carry somebody with you also. It also helps you to you know collect rest as a Christian. There's one saying that a scripture a day keeps the enemy away. Number two hack is to talk to God. Even though God sees everything we do in our daily lives, right? Like He used to see every part. He's still waiting for you to say, you know, Heavenly Father. Huh? You know, anytime you say that Heavenly Father or Jesus Christ, the way heaven will pay attention. It's like angels will be alert. Oh my God's child won't talk, you know. Even though He's seen everything you do, He wants to hear your voice. He wants you to speak to Him. Uh -uh. You know, if you not talk to your father or your mother, you know, for a while. He's giving space. He watches us. He hears us. He hears our hearts. But he just wants that calm thing. You know, to, I'm not to speak to him. I normally do this too. You could write letters to him. It might be giving you a know, cliche. As a guy, how I want to write letters. Go, go. You know? So you can write letters to God. Like in that position where you're writing that letter, right? You are speaking to him. He's there. He's listening. He's going to help some. Oh my God, I don't call him again. So you don't do that part. You, know, you can try writing letters as a Christian. He helps you to every day. It's like a diary, you speak to him. So even though you don't pray, when you come to write the letter, it's kind of you know, two in one. Number three hack, surround yourself with the gospel. Meet friends or movies or songs or your social algorithm. Let it be with the circle of Christianity. Be it like YouTube, Instagram, you could be following like, you know, prophets online or maybe music, gospel music accounts or, you know, let your, your feed be, you know, filled with gospel things when you are like straying away you know to bring you back if you are like a verge of falling or flopping as a Christian or backsliding this this hack really really helps if you surround yourself with friends too that are gospel like when you see their posts sometimes it takes you back when you speak to them sometimes it takes you back they they might say that thing that ah i remember don't read bible don't read three days like you know it also helps you to grow as a christian is a hack you know a habit try to find every way to keep the word close to you it's like eating let it be around you like you know these gospel songs or the things that are mostly around you try to feel god in those places too to help you number four hack be christ-like in everything you are doing being christ-like you know literally in the world in the term it's behaving like christ like jesus christ so be it in like situations you want to make or you want to speak to someone and maybe you're confused or you don't know what to do try to put yourself in jesus she's like if this was jesus now about to do this how would he take this decision how would he speak to this person what would he say you know jesus always chose his words wisely so it can also help you in making decisions not to hurt others or you know very hard decisions that you're like ah, I'm, all, I'm in trouble how will i solve my situation you know, this hack me can help you Number five hack. Always take every single bitty thing spiritual. Because this world it's like it's not just physical, it's spiritual. Everything, even if you hit your leg on stone, it's spiritual. I'd not say it's village people, don't assumption thing, but it's spiritual. Like literally. 
But when I start thinking like this, my whole life changes like that. So before I just say, you know, it's just breeze. It's just water. You think just so. Hmm, some people might just might, might lose a pen and be like, oh, it's just a pen. You see that just carry it and drop it. You think just now. You may see that and um, just lost my pen. But you know everything in this world says it's lit. Maybe that pen now is supposed to be to somebody. To please and that person that will now come and come and bless you. Maybe let's say they now want to write for you check. No buyer. Now you see that pen that you give now for you know if for move. I think say it's a situation, but like I'm just giving an instance where you know you might miss something. So like don't don't just take everything as it's just like how some people be like ah. Just see, I didn't feel like going out to so, more. Um, maybe they fought where you went, wanted to go, or there was an a bombing where you wanted to go, or there was an accident, or you know, or they killed people. You know, if to say you do just let me just go, <laughs> you for really go. <laughs> because even even we two humans, as I as I say, this, no, this, no, me, this physical J, spiritual J is inside me. We are all spiritual beings, you know, our spirit is just living in mortal body. So obviously, every single thing about us supposed to be what spiritual. Six tip. Be joyful. Whenever you are in, you are happy or you are in a good mood, always show it, express it. It's, it's God's will for us to. We want to see children happy. Hey, joy, joy, joy. Your joy in this moment is it might be a movie you watched or a song you listen to or a food you eat, you play and food, you know. If you are feeling that joy, express it. Dance, if you want to dance, always express joy. That's saying now, joy in the littlest things, I believe the simplest of things. Before you know, if you are that joyful, there's always joy in your heart. You see, depression can sneak into your anxiety can come, sadness from where can come. If you find joy in simpler things, it, it, it's kind of linking to bigger things. You know, some people they're only happy when one big thing happens. No, so be very joyful in simpler things. You know, God, God likes you. Like even though this my child is in pain, he has needs, you know, one thing. He's always in joy. He's always good. He's always in joy. He's always in joy. Good. He's always joyous. <laughs> It's another hack. Before you know, your life becomes a problem. Self, no good. They look like problem. Go, they look like elevation. You know, God is taking you to a higher place. We always joy. It's very good. Though. It used to help. A seven hack is to be thankful or you know, contentment. The hack is blessings usually come when you have those things in life: thankfulness and contentment. Blessings will come if you are very content with where you are. You know, if you are thankful. Hmm. Some people might say they are not content, but you know, some people are so primo than you. Know. I'm te- if you see people out there, hmm, that day I sit down like this, I say I want to pray. All the things that I want, they're not going to speak. They hear, if somebody hear that, my friend, they will slap me. Because it's not even, people are out there looking for, you know, they are sick, they are looking for big things. People don't have house under the bridge. Me and Mr. House saying, I want shawarma, you know, I want to travel to Hawaii and on the bridge, I want to go for vacation. So sometimes if you check your prayer points, they are really not even that serious compared to what people are doing up out there. No matter your problem is, there's always somebody interested. So contentment is very important. It's, it's a hack. I've even like put it in other ones. Always you know, speak positive words. Speak positive words. Positive words matter. You want to talk? Think about how the recipe to take it. Eh? You 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 tell that thing in my chest. It will you not do anything, but it will hurt somebody. You know? Somebody's going to find tell him. Ah, even though. My shy squad in my phone. Mm-hmm, your shirt is nice. I like your shirt. You look good. I like your smile. You're always so positive. How do you do it? You're always joyous. You know, even the person being joyous, but I'm saying, ah, so many joyous. Ah, you're the joyous one. You know, show you. Try to say positive things out. Do you know you're already preaching like that? You don't need to say, the Lord said, you know, Jesus Christ loves you. Mm-mm. The world, the whole world is talking about love. Just spread love. You know, have positivity. You can have. Share it. You know, you, what makes you better? Share it to other people so I can help them to like see what I'm doing now. Ha! If I go that heavy. Now, Martian team, so no be any quite for a roof house. Some Jacinth and Jaspers in my house. <laughs> Number nine hack keep your eyes on Jesus Christ, not on the world. What you put on the church. Now, so don't be saying, How can I keep your mind? Let's go to one more thing. Put on to Jesus Christ. Like, say, Ha! Remember, but just imagine yourself. I know Jesus' times, things are different from now, you know. Jesus really cares in the name of Jesus. Even me, I sit there and say, ah, Jesus didn't even like, he didn't even date. No, he didn't have crush. All the girls out there, he didn't have crush. You know, he was just here straight to the Father's word. I know. Now we were even lucky our set self. <laughs> he allowed us to, you know, we can date. He gave us things to eat, ice cream, we be shop shops. In that time, now leave that flat bread. Now we didn't even date. 
God has given us plenty things, opportunities to have as Christians, even though He says we should come and do His word. He still gives us, you know, it's a why we want to call out. Take away, you know. You can you can go on vacation, you can swim, you can swing. Swing day that time, you know, day. Food, shawama, see food are big. He gave us things, and I said, okay, just like you're picking your child to school, now you're studying about, you know, lunch box. Anyways, you know, keep your eyes on Jesus and, and all the good things. My time really isn't a tip or a hack to that. It's just that time you're going through something, a phase or a problem, or you know, that problem. Monitor your job. Don't let your job go down. Honestly. Honestly, don't make your don't let your job go down. Try as much as possible to be happy. I know it's not easy, but it's hard though. But try. Let it be constant. First Thessalonians 5 16. Be joyful. Joyful. Philippians 4. Philippians 4 4. You know the wrong thing. Man. Jesus Christ said, people said. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Like again. You see, if you meditate now, you know that that again is that let it be constant. Rejoice in the Lord. Always like also, we think always do pause. And I have a man that all the time keep being joyful. He now said it again. Rejoice. He didn't add always in second words. Now add for you. Always. <laughs> so yeah, we've come to the end of this video. I know you people will listen. So shout out to people that have been helping me. People that help me. Victor, shout out to you. God bless you for me abundantly. Victor is one that helps with my intro. Nothing like my new intro. Comment that my intro is fine. Thank you, Victor, for my intro. You know, you people can see in case you have something that wants to help me, help me, you know, support the motion. <laughs> Anyways, we've come to the end of this video. I hope this video has been impactful and has been helpful. So, you could share with your friends that you know that this will help them. Post it on your status quo or your story. You know, if you just share a night, you have to do your part. You too. Mash on too. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in my next video by the best of god always live in the fear of the lord and jesus loves you so so much bye